Hi folks, this is a brief video to discuss the results of your lipid digestion experiment. So first of all, I want to start out by explaining the reagents. The litmus cream that we made is made of half and half, which is just a dairy creamer, and litmus powder, which uh, is a powder that changes color based on the pH of a solution. So litmus powder will turn pink if the solution is acidic, and it will turn blue if the solution is basic. So let's look uh, first at the results that uh, simply indicate what the litmus cream does in acidic or basic solutions. So in test tube L3, you added litmus cream and a few drops of hydrochloric acid. And you can see that this tube turned pink. So that indicates acidity. In test tube L4, you had litmus cream and a few drops of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, and that turned the litmus cream blue. And uh, blue litmus indicates that a solution is basic or alkaline. Okay, so that's all these are for, just to show you what the results might look like. Now let's look at the other results. Test tube L1 was just lipase and water. So that doesn't really show you much, just that lipase is not uh, changing the color of the solution. In test tube L2, we have litmus cream and water. And this is just a neutral solution. Triglycerides, which make up the fats in the uh, half and half, are neutral fats or neutral lipids. So in this litmus cream solution, you'll see that the color is violet. It's neither pink nor blue. It's in between the two, indicating it's got a pH around 7, a neutral pH. So I want to digress for a moment and talk about triglycerides and their breakdown products. So is this right side up? Will it be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Joey's making this video for us. All right, so I'm going to draw out the generic structure of a triglyceride. It starts with the glycerol molecule that I'm drawing here, and then attached to it are fatty acids. So this whole thing is a triglyceride. This pH is neutral. Uh, so what lipases do is they break chemical bonds. In these triglycerides, and specifically between the glycerol molecule and the fatty acids. Now all of these are fatty acids. So lipases are going to come along and break that bond and that bond. And they'll leave the, the middle bond intact, this bond that's joining this fatty acid to uh, glycerol. So just to be clear, these are the fatty acids. Okay. So if lipases do that, if they break those bonds, then what you'll be left with is the following. You'll have a monoglyceride, that's the structure here, and you'll have free fatty acids.
the key term here is acids. Okay, these have this uh, hydrogen ion here that can easily be donated to a solution. Um, and the hydrogen ions make the acidity. Um, all you really need to understand for this experiment is that the breakdown products of triglyceride digestion include free fatty acids, and these are acidic. So keeping that in mind, let's go back to the results here. So in test tube L5, you added litmus cream and lipase. And you know that litmus cream by itself is neutral, as we saw in L2. But in L5, we had lipase in there as well. And that was incubated for an hour at 37 degrees Celsius. And you'll notice that the solution turned pink. And pink indicates acidity. So what made this acidic? is the free fatty acids. So those triglycerides that uh, made up the fatty component of the half and half were digested by the lipase that resulted in these acids. And you can tell that by this uh, pink color indicating acidic pH. All right, so we know that the lipase has worked. In tube L6, you added litmus cream, lipase, and a pinch of bile salts. And again, you can see digestion occurred. I would expect actually more digestion to occur in tube L6 because bile assists with fat digestion by the mechanisms we've been talking about in lecture by increasing surface area for lipase to work on. Um, however, it's a little bit hard to see the results partly because the bile salts are yellow so they can kind of throw off the color a little bit but I think if you look closely, you can see that tube L6 is actually uh, a deeper tone of pink. Or if you can't, just use your imagination. Um, or maybe you'll, you'll see in lab that uh, L6 actually is a little bit more pink than L5 when you get your results. Um, actually, let's do one more thing. You can just stay right there, Joey. I'll bring over uh, this experiment here. You just kind of zoom out and show what we have here. <laughs> so here we have water mixed with oil. Uh, and you can see that uh, water and oil do not mix. Here we have water and oil with bile salts. And these are actually emulsified. Um, did you add the same amount of water and oil to each of mm -hmm. these tubes? Yeah. All right. So you don't see this thick film of oil on top of this one. You do see a little bit of oil there, but for the most parts, the oils have become emulsified with the water. They've completely mixed with the water. If you shake it up, that result might actually be intensified a little bit. You don't see a lot of oily film up here. Shake this one up. I'm shaking it just as vigorously, if not more. You can see that the oil quickly separates. All right, so that's the action of bile, emulsifying fats in a watery solution that really helps lipases to do their job in the small intestine. Thank you very much.